someone else like to tell us what happened last game? Jeremy died. That is true. The trap. Anyway, so now begin. Okay, let's have fun. <laughs> you know, just so that the people who don't remember <laughs> Lucas can do the play. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Someone. I feel like this is James's normal role. Would you like to? I mean, I. <laughs> All right. But well, well, if I say it's. Oh, oh, when I, like, appeared back time in the that, I want to say this. I'll be honest, half the reason I do this is to know what you guys remember, because some things that yeah. I'm like, oh, that's an epic foreshadowing. I like that. No one like gives the, a crap. Like, like, after we killed the guy with, You're gonna the, have to be with more specific. the rat, uh, when we blew up the rat with the cannon, the voice afterwards, you're like, who are you? I'll <laughs> I mean, you're just chill. Anyway. Alright, so I got back from my, like, day-long potty break, right? <laughs> I met Kirek over here, we were just walking, having a good time, we found a good time, we found these two chumps, and we're like, Hey, you guys are back! I'm like, yeah, we got a chip! I'm like, what? <laughs> it did happen. And so then, anyways, we were getting on the ship in the morning, and it's like, Hey, I we have people approaching the ship, who are you? And then that one guy back, I was like, oh, it's them. <laughs> no, he said it with a pirate voice. <laughs> it be him! <laughs> and yeah, our boy Tommy did that. <laughs> and we got a ship and you're like, yeah, we can go. And then as we were about to go, there's some guy that was like, I'm here to kill you. And then he went, Elder's Blast! <laughs> like, right, I'll get you attack. next time. <laughs> he did do that. <laughs> and we were sailing. And then they were like, let's see. We hit a storm, and that's what caused us to crash, or was it the uh, fight that caused us? It was the storm. I, I, don't, I don't think we crashed. I thought, I think, it was the I thought we were just heading for the island. There was a storm. Like, oh, it was an island. And because of the emergency. situation, we had to go into the rocks yeah. as an emergency landing. Basically to, like, stabilize the yeah, ship. And, and fix it. Yeah. And then, in Kirek's infinite wisdom, <laughs> like, I see someone watching us. I should not be able to throw one that hard. <laughs> and you got a net 20. <laughs> and then we kidnapped the child. <laughs> and then we let the child. the child go after permanently scarring it for life. Time out. I do want to add Lucas tried following the child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they love us. So then we finally <laughs> left after whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> then there was some. Pirates that showed up and were like, oh, we're on hippogriffs and stuff, we're gonna kill you! That was sick. I got their face. You know, we were beating them up, I got put on a hippogriff rider's back and started punching him. And then we, there was some ominous noise. Ooh, and they were ooh, like, can you pull me down? <laughs> <laughs> and then this kraken just emerged from the water like a crab. He did do that. And then Lucas pulled out his signature technique of getting transformed by <laughs> <laughs> you know, a key that, that does happen surprisingly <laughs> often. <laughs> and he would start being I'm a crab and while also trying to hide from a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I am the perfect test subject. Then he un-T-Rexed and then went, SMITE! <laughs> well, also, you were just in the background like, SMITE! <laughs> Spear! And you were using it's robot smite. Yes. And, and you were well, getting struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what was happening Jer with the smite. <laughs> what? I, I got you like got thrown into the water. Then I got thrown into the water. I was trying to shoot him with my cannon. I got thrown into the water. Everyone you got thrown into the water. I was I, I <laughs> <it? Yeah. laughs> oh, right, the scene the storm. No, yeah. I never thought about that. You guys didn't have a storm thing. Yeah. And everyone did some. Wacky fun stuff. It was nice. I died. You healed someone's spine? <laughs> How did I do that? She fell off the freaking bird's nest onto the ground and you're like, one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so. <clears throat> now, if we would like to properly begin after that glorious, amazing. Recap. Reddit recap. So, ah, uh, the game begins with, uh, let's see. This is the only session. What's up? Lucas. You are correct. Stop you are. flinging the roar around. 
I would like it if you did not. Probably not a good idea to break another mini. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. Wait, could I ask? Could I ask a question? Give me a second. Okay. I'm sorry. I had session 13 pulled up rather than 14. Yeah, we're on 14. Here's yeah. the, here's 14. So <clears throat> we're redoing that oh, session. Yeah. Yes. Take two. So we are grinding two. <laughs> in the oh, you can see the. Uh, if you would, I am actually going to send you all a picture. No. No! The, the uh, Discord thing. Sorry, I'm blind. In Drew and Drew. In Drew and Drew, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I and yes, it. I just stole this off of freaking. Wait, what session are we on? 14. 14. Why do I have this last is session? What... session 12. Because you're stupid. So this you're is right, what I the. Have, uh, I have two sessions. This is what uh, Edgewater, Water's Edge Harbor looks like, the place where you grew up. So, if you'll take a look at it, I stole it off of freaking Google. Hmm. So. so, you guys... That's a very convenient land formation. It, it is. is. But it looked cool, so I, I wanted to take it. Continue, I can hear you. Alright, so, we begin the story. You guys are just outside the harbor. On the uh, Captain Clark's boat, you see that Tommy and, I believe it was, yep, Tommy and Ember, they are on a little rowboat waiting for a signal from Captain Clark to actually go in because they're waiting for the daily rounds to, you know, the daily guards to go by so it's safe for them to smuggle their goods into the actual ship. Now, I thought her name was Cinder. What did I, dang it, Cinder. <laughs> what did I call it, Ember? Ember. Dang it, her <laughs> mother. <laughs> 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 Cinder. But yes. Now, uh, if anyone has any items that could get you to the shore, it might be time to use them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I can swim. You can also... Wait, I need to figure out what... Hey guys, I can't do anything here. So why did I pick Lucas to get this to <laughs> Well, if I gave it to Abby, she would have forgotten it exists and not add it to her, uh, whatever she needs. That's true. Like I mean. the flaming gauntlets, or the potion of giant strength, or the I have other flaming thing. gauntlets? You did, yeah. <laughs> and the hammer. And the I hammer. I have the hammer. I it's there? Have. It's in, it's in the portable hole. Uh, you know, why do I have a staff of healing? It's been a new day. I can recharge spells on the time. One d six plus four, so it's back. What, what do I have? Oh my gosh! I what have are you even looking at? Walking. I don't know. You do have a ring of water Skin. walking. Um, before we get off mm -hmm. the boat, can I ask Captain Clark for a pirate hat? You probably would. I. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> He goes into his uh, office that someone walked in in the middle of a storm, so there's like little puddles of water, and he gets you another pirate hat. A tricorn. It looks pretty sick. What, what's up? Uh, Are you looking at your inventory or your spells? The rest are spells. Long rest. This okay. kid, I swear. I think he's trying to look at his eye. Here, uh, James, would you help him? That's he, why he, I have He got something like five seconds ago and he forgot about it, so check his inventory. Five seconds ago? Yeah. It was probably longer than five seconds ago. So I can just figure out how um, Wait, I thought I had the gauntlets of Ogre Power. Hey guys. I realized where I got my... Uh, don't don't tap HP from. Like, look at it, still. Did I? I don't Did think I forget it's an item that's right. It might also need to be attuned. Uh, yeah. Also, so, everyone, we will have a temp HP of 15, I mean, of 10. Yay! Including. Wait, what? when did I get the gauntlets, Drew? What? It's like the third game. Third game? 
What? Why? Hmm? Why what? I'm also. If Jeremy is back, Jeremy is back. Never mind. So I don't mean. know what that even is. Or what why I, is it what I've had By the way, that is in character. That is there. Drew, he's probably he, a friend of this. Um, and he never friend. noticed. Dear Dia. Hmm? Yeah, I would oh, like to know if you No. The, oh, you got that one last game. Could oh, Abby have returned Jeremy to the world of the living? I think I would have to like remake yeah, him since you said that like I. So you have to. Sank. You have that ability. That is one of your. Jer this Jeremy will not have PTSD because he's weird. Really Why so. did you give your robots emotions? Uh, it's a side. So wait, what did he give me? Oh my gosh! This child is oh, stupid. Oh, I mean, a, a, a boat? <laughs> yes. Like you guys yeah, have a boat. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? I was. Hey, could you remove the boat and give it to James? So Chris, how about braces? Here, how about oh, Yeah, those. <laughs> and then, whatever, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to be adding a folding boat to my Yeah, Lucas, you lost your boat currently. <laughs> it is not your boat. I thought you were even giving me one. I did. If we have the I can pull up the footage. Uh, you gave you a lot of things. An M32 or a grenade launcher. It wasn't just for both. You gave him a clue of many things, right? No. Okay. Wait, so are the bracers the custom item? Or I don't know. It looks like fashions, but I got the. I don't know. I'm going to have to look things. it up later. Different clue altogether. Yeah. I got some kind of useful items. That's what I think. So, what would you like to do? You are standing on the uh, freaking boat watching Cinder. Why? Oh, wait. Never mind. Watching Cinder and Tommy. They are waiting in their rowboats, waiting for, uh, let's see, Captain Clark, who's looking through a spyglass, which is surprisingly expensive. Uh, he's watching the shoreline. expensive? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, expensive for a normal d and yeah. We have a lot of money. Except for Abby. Abby's broke. So, <laughs> as... 24 gold. You see Captain Clark, he's... All right, if you're going to go, do it now. As you see, Tommy and Cinder, they begin rowing their little boats, freaking like backing up, and they start <laughs> as they pull out and start heading to the river, as they start heading to the uh, dock. I'm going to pull out the small box and hold it out. Just toss this into the water and say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it will cause it to transform to a boat for you three to be able to get across. Are you not going to do it? I have my way to get across. Did you not pay attention earlier? Let's go quiet. You heard his speech, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't make that noise. <laughs> as you are standing on the boat, as it begins to unfold in your arms. Uh oh. <laughs> You never said that. Oh, I made the arm motion. Oh, I wasn't watching, so... Well, okay, you should! I'm the... Heave! As the entire boat is destroyed. And, no, okay, so we toss it in the water. As it begins to unfold, as... I believe, for the first one, it is how big? Just a rowboat? Yeah, ten feet long, four feet wide, two feet deep. How old? Right? Four people, comfortably. So... As a pair of oars, an anchor, and a mast, and a latin sail. Oh, you have a latin sail. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> well, Drake, you ready? Yeah. I would like to get on to the boat. Alright, so... I'm gonna put on my hat, and also you know hat? hop into a boat. A tricorn hat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll the boat. I'm gonna drop myself down onto the water. Uh, let's see, so you fall freaking 10 feet, right? And then you, <laughs> now you're fine. You're, actually, you're a monk! Do you, oh, you're most you're gonna monk. push our boat for us. <laughs> <laughs> you could, He's the motor! You, you, <laughs> you guys are heading towards the dock. As oh. <laughs> As you finally make it to a shadier part of the dock where there are less people, you see that uh, Tommy and Cinder are unloading the their like little barrels filled with stuff. You don't know, maybe it's drugs. I don't know. Yeah, so, like it, so 
as you see that there are some merchants standing off in the uh, in an alleyway who are waiting for Tommy and Cinder to arrive. As, but I'll say this, uh, Blen, mm -hmm. you know this because you live here, but the atmosphere is a bit uh, it's less lively than normal, even at this time in the morning, which I'd say it's about what, maybe six thirty. It's early in the morning, but even from what you know that this place, it should be bustling by like already, because unlike the other continents, these guys, you guys wake up early, you're like freaking cool, you don't sleep in until 12, my gosh. <laughs> how do you even do that? Uh, I was going to ask him, I don't know how to do you, but... <laughs> Just go to bed and then you wake up at 12. Yeah, I like my sixth day, which is what I, when I do wake up. Let's see, something's wrong. A lot of people are missing. The street should be basically filled with people by now. Are you sure they're not just somewhere else? I mean, there's a war going on somewhere. And sleeping. This has that. more than enough people for a war. I Besides I being a port town, it should have plenty of people. Ignoring the fact that everyone would be awake right now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Were there days where this was kind of common out here? Like slower days. I've heard this or slow. maybe somewhere where everyone might all go. Hey, Dia. What's up? He was not paying attention. No, not at all. I did, I did. <laughs> but were you talking to me? You were talking to each other. They yeah. were talking, asking me, and I was asking you. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I was typing something for the future. For us. You'll know it when. If there's ever scenarios where these streets were, for whatever reason, less crowded at this time, or a place that people would be at this time. If there was something going on in the uh, town square, maybe, but basically, if there's something going on in town square, everyone would be gathered there, but even during that, there would still be noise going on around here. Not to this degree. People would still be here, no matter what. Be either everyone's <clears throat> potentially still in their homes. I will also say, part of this is because the docks look like they're completely shut down. Basically, all of the uh, all of the actual ships there, their sails are taken down. They seem to be put up for. You would see ships like this that were being decommissioned, that are no longer being used. It seems like for some reason, all travel has been. Shut down. Which, I would say, the traders, the traders as in merchant traders, not the other thing, on the other side, from these two, did notice that the uh, Riker Army Empire is no longer giving merchants any sort of a uh, guide across. So that could be related to that. It's almost as if this part of the town has been either deserted or everyone's still in their homes or something massive is happening here. Should we maybe ask around and see? What people? You know, well, are those you, shady people, but... Are there more people other than the shady people? Not on the dock itself. You would have to go further into town to action. We can go see if there's no people. See if there's anyone we can ask. I feel like directly asking would cause problems for us. Some new people suddenly show up asking what's happening while being in outfits from the Ride Drum Empire and from the Charlotte Empire. That list. Maybe well, you guys aren't really, I would say this, you guys aren't really in outfits from the Charlotte Empire. Oh, so he's got that cloak. Mine's like the most of the giveaway. He, actually, he, what's up? Would mine be like the most of the giveaway because of the church? Yes, it would. You are going to get seen immediately, and there's nothing you can do about it. Great. Great that I have a shift weave. What? <laughs> <laughs> Three so, people no one recognizes. Yeah. 
recognize and one person who is exiled, so they show up in town asking what's happening. Just does everyone know that you're exiled? Just, yeah, not most families. I don't know. You you look like a homeless person, so I assume you have. Sorry, that's. Yeah, but you think there are a lot of homeless people in the Rider Empire? That's actually a fair point, there, aren't you? Was if you're homeless, just go to war. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Not just like eavesdrop on some people, maybe in like maybe a local try. bar or tavern or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tavern is a possibility, also just seems like a good spot to get to a fight. You would know. What's up, Lucas? What's, What's around here? So Actually, around I here, let me yeah. pull up the map that I have. Oh, what would Lucas know about what's around here? Uh, roll me roll me twenty. Down. That might look suspicious yeah. though. Why would I know? Not that there's... I had an agent. Exactly, roll me d20. Oh yeah, I guess if you really want information, you could say... Six. Six. No idea. Maybe. I will say this. You begin to hear a murmuring coming from where you know is the town square. As if... But not like normal murmuring. It's like a whisper, like, oh, we should be quiet murmuring. <laughs> Start pulling it away from the dock. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're going back. We're going around. <laughs> so something's definitely happening. See, as Tommy and Cinder, they finish up, you know, unloading their stuff. They go back into their boat, they're like, Alright, you guys be safe. This was Tommy saying that, not the girl. <laughs> Seems like it's going to be easier said than done. Mr. Cinder! Like <laughs> by the way, she, she is not as annoyed by your existence after you killed her spine. She's fine with your existence now. <laughs> it's progress. Good. Step one. <laughs> I'm going to kind of like lift, lift my hat to them or like tip, tip my hat? I don't know. Salute. I tip my hat. I, I tip my tricorn. <laughs> you are. I'm a lady. <laughs> I tip my hood to you. <laughs> so, if I gave you the immovable rod. Like, well, how high is like the... Like, I assume uh, we're at the port, which means I'd say buildings. Than the wall. What's up? They're like a breaker wall to the water. So like, a breaker. Wall. So kind of like what? dock wall and stairs up. You are at the wooden docks, right? Now. Okay. Yes, there are wooden docks with little buildings on the outside. Because I know things. Could we see the town square or anything, or like, do we have any shade or anything from? People, or are we just kind of like standing out in the open on the dock? You are in the open, but Captain Clark did say that the uh, grounds wouldn't be back for a minute. And there are a few buildings. You don't see anyone aside from the merchants who are taking the uh, freaking barrels and like moving them. Unless we decide to like take the boat and land outside the city, we need to move some double channels. Or at least just land outside the wall and then there is one technical possibility, but this question of what we're doing the best. Okay, roll me a nature check. By who? Someone. Well, I have a decent nature. Okay, that's right, we need nature. Oh, well, I rolled the die, it's 22 with a nat 20. Dang, okay. <laughs> well, if you want to pull up the map in the pin section, not that map, the other one. The okay. one of the topography the of the continents. The colored one or the non? The colored one. Yeah. If you notice that uh, when you land, there's actually a lot of first desert and wasteland. Hmm. You know that if you're going to make it through here, you need to stop by and get some supplies. Well, because unlike the friggin' Charlotte Empire on the left over there, that has nature. That has like, nature. We mentioned at the uh, friggin' world building part you that listen to you? the freaking Brian, Brian, that guy, he set like up his kingdom over here because it was being strong. What? I didn't say I was. I said, who are you? 
What do you mean? So, based off of what I've read in the books and seen on the maps, we're going to need to hit somewhere in here and get supplies, because what we have will not survive through the desert to the wasteland. The main thing you need is water. Well, I've got it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think we could make it inside to one of the buildings? If we need to, I can um, shape shift into someone that looks like it from around here. Since when can you do that? Like just now. <laughs> she built something on the ship. I mean, she was tinkering with stuff, and she was trying to fix Jeremy. Now that you mentioned it. Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, okay. <laughs> Who's Jeremy? My voice got caught. <laughs> I have a frog, I'm trying to get her out as well. <clears throat> I would like to pull up my cloak of elven right? I want to see what's happening in the town center. I'll be back. If I wear my Should legs. we go get supplies? Possibly. Just try to be careful. I don't know what's happening here, but it's not normal. If I shift you in shift my shift. civilian clothes, does that look more civilian? Then you may have to say yes. what to shape shift. You do still have the mask, so we'll but from here. Uh, you should well, get away with it. Uh, can I use my cloak of fashion? The does this look a bit more normal? Can I kind of go into um, more civilian clothes? You said already, yeah. <laughs> Just make sure. Of it. And also to make sure I can. Like, <laughs> I wasn't listening to you. She was talking. Oh, he said it will be. I'm just more. Make sure like they can't really see my face. Kind yeah. of. You can do that. So, yeah. You, you know, can stay hooded in and our. Know, probably not the mask, but. If oh, well. you can try to get some supplies, just be careful. So Drake, how do you plan to get it? As his cloak actually switches colors. As you know. <laughs> you just can't see my face anymore, and I just cover my arm. Yeah, the arm is the important part. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try to find the shadows yeah, close to the building to approach the town center. Alright, so. To see what that I'd say you can make it there fairly easily since you're, you know, have the cloak and all that. So, let's see. The town square is a uh, large circle surrounded by buildings, but the actual center, if you look at the map, I am. Is uh, actually slightly disconnected from everything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the buildings are on the outside are fairly close. But unlike how you remember it, this the town square isn't like I can only see half isn't like what you remember. Instead well, of having like a bunch of different uh, stands where goods would be sold and stuff like that, you see that there is a wooden stage built. You see that the stage is surrounded by just random people, and on top of it, you see a hooded figure. The symbols on it uh, are very similar to the scaled individuals you met in the Charlotte Empire. And standing next to him, you also see another man who looks strangely similar to you. It's but warm. his hair seems to be a bit darker, and he's wearing a proper armor. You recognize him as your brother. There are two more people on here, though. You see... You see uh, a man in very dark clothes, basically a black bag over his head, and he's holding a sword with no tip. And last person up there, you see a man in very ragged clothes with a bag over his head too, and he looked like he can barely stand. It seems to be some sort of execution. As I will get back to in a second, as the rest of what are you guys up to? Um, I'm gonna shape shift into something that looks like it's from there. Cause I can successfully shape shift into a mouse. Land. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, so you're disguised. Are you doing a full disguise or just like trying to make it so that your clothing and stuff looks like? Um, I think full disguise. Full disguise. Like, okay. Like I can look like a creature that would be from there. A creature. I, yeah, because I can add like. A worm. <laughs> oh my lord! It's a worm. It's a worm. Oh, it's a worm. Oh, it's a worm. Not why. There's a difference. Or a different race. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> All right, so you know would be hilarious. So you have done that. What are you actually? Are, what is everyone doing aside from James? I still got my pirate hat on. You do still have your pirate. I do. So were yes. we going to the town square, or did we want to just go check out the building? I think. I think we some. need to go get some supplies. Maybe we should go ask to go to. Ohm knows how to blend in here, so. Well, I mean, like. He knows the terrain better. He knows what we might need better. <laughs> That's a fair point. Why did you guys get your oh. guide? Oh. <laughs> oh, the person fire. <laughs> 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 like we would have established this beforehand, but we didn't. So, uh, well, what would you need to cross the desert? Well, probably water. Exactly. We need water. We need lots of water. We can. You think I have a bag of holding? I think I might be broke. Sun we screen. do have a bag. Hmm? Oh, sun screen. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <That's a very laughs> like I said, the big thing we need is water. <laughs> Food, you can you can scavenge that oh, pretty wow. well. You know, Glenn has like eight uh, good berries in his pocket. <laughs> Somehow a week old. A week. <laughs> a week? That's it? <laughs> Jeez! That's all the time that's passed in game. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's a base uh, I'm feeling I'm this Larry. I think shut. That was like four days ago. You know what? Since we all have a bunch of new things, I'm just going to save this one. I wish Larry was here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here because that was in character. Anyway. Oh, anyways, um, about cold. how do we plan to get it and get, get what we need? Like, are we worried we're gonna get scenes? I look like something completely. Let's different. see. Uh, what should I roll for navigation? You blend in. As long as I don't see what? my roll scales. Roll me perception. Ooh. Two of you. Perception, perception to find the place. What is my I perception? Have I don't have good. I have a plus five, so I can roll perception. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> plus perception. Yeah. perception. How's his perception? Me? <laughs> he does. The person who isn't there. I don't have a plus, plus, plus thirteen or something. Uh, like, on the rolling, like, plus eight. On passive, plus Okay, I'll roll it. Right <laughs> Dude, yeah, you're good. just walking by, like, oh, yeah, hey, look, there's a place. You said two. You said two? Two of them. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? No. <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait. Okay, so... Dad! <laughs> uh, Abby, you find a group of, uh, mind goblins just standing around. Oh right. my lord! <laughs> That's like the most dangerous type. Wait, what? You find mind goblins <laughs> standing mind around. Mind goblins? Yes. <laughs> Mind goblins. <laughs> Do it, Drew. <laughs> Mind goblins! <laughs> oh, I'm amazing. Anyway, the thing that actually matters, Lucas, you find a place called Sawyer Survival like Shop. Like goblins. Mind goblins? <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, you ripped it so. Lucas, you find the sort called Sawyer Survivalist Shop. You didn't find it. All right, Lucas well, found I'm... it, and every he told yeah. everyone. So he. Well, yeah, but I don't know if he should be leading the way. We have, have very quick perception. We all blended. Yes. Don't you know? But you're the one that we don't want them finding out <clears throat> exists. Was worm from Zelda? So, you're the one that. Yes, he was. Want... No, no. This is a. Uh, oh, you said worm. I think it's blend. This is Blunt's hometown, by the way. I was worried about worm. Oh, we don't know. He's still over there. Worm doesn't know, know his own backstory. <laughs> I mean, even if he... We should try to recruit Worm. Oh, Worm! Oh my gosh, I thought you meant him. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's great! Oh, you, dude. Worm's a different kind Same of Same name, freaking whatever. Anyway, so as you guys enter, you see he looks like he's an orc. He has, like, freaking big teeth, you know, orc stuff. And he's wearing really ragged studded leather armor. He seems to be a ranger of some kind. You assume this, did I already say his name was Sawyer? Yes. No. Uh, you said the, you said well, the shop was 
shop. Okay, yeah. Like so yeah, this whatever. is you assume Survivor. this is the Sawyer of uh, Sawyer Survivalist Shop. And as you walk in on the walls, you see that there are different uh, drying meats, freaking pelts, that kind of thing. You know what? Uh, we may need, we may actually need something to keep warm because I think it gets kind of cold in the desert. From we'll do that I later. We'll get redesigned. Yeah, if only there was someone you could ask. We'll get stuff for the winter art no, later. Trust me, you might catch a cloak. We'll trust. We'll, we'll get you guys redesigns later. You know, for the end, for the final arc. Final arc? You're getting close, you're getting close. Anyway, so... <laughs> Arctic? You see the orc? So, what can I do for you? He has an overbite. I think it's an underbite. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now, what can I do for you? <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> so, anyway, so... What can I do for you? Uh, we're just... Looking for some stuff to help us cross the desert. Have you asked the mine gods? Do you have coin? Because I, if you're looking for water, I have something I can help. So your head's where? Do you have coin? Yes. Great. Actually, who have? Twenty. Five hundred gold. For what? You see, he pulls out. <laughs> what? It looks like a water skin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Five hundred gold. For a lot of gold, what does it do? Does it do anything, or is it just? Would you like a demonstration? It for four hundred thousand dollars to drink this water for five minutes. <laughs> Demonstration uh, of a water scheme? Yeah. <laughs> I sure? Sure, yeah. I'll do a favor. Stand in front of the door. <laughs> Drake will be in front of the door. Okay. Okay. He's the only one with money. You don't want him to be the one with money. Do you want to stand in front of the door? My spell uses concentration. I don't know what something may happen. I'm saying that's as a small aside to him. Because I, this spell. I really don't out. want to get that wet, but if it does what you claim it might, I think. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I moved to in front of the door. I know exactly what that is. He points at you and says, Geyser. <laughs> <laughs> As 30 gallons of water go flying out towards you, I need a strength check. Uh oh. I know exactly what this is. Ten. Ten. As you are pushed back out of the door, knocked prone, and I'm not going to have you take the damage just because whatever. Okay. Also. <laughs> Stand in front of the door. He <laughs> <laughs> down, pulls out a bucket, it says stream, and a gallon of water comes out. Hmm. This should give you enough water <coughs> forever. <laughs> It'd be fine. Guys, are Hi, I need water. Guys, are <laughs> Hey, guys! Zer! <laughs> so, 500 gold? As. Alright. Dang um, it! Lucas gets it! <laughs> Lucas, you get a height. Decanter of endless water, which is not a link to the water plane. It has a completely different, lore-friendly reason it's the ocean. of doing. I don't know. <laughs> it's a portal at the bottom of the ocean. That <laughs> would be salt water. <laughs> and I'm good enough. Yeah, one thousand. It has a way to just cast purify food and drink as it shoots. Those regions have to live off something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, uh, refreshing. You have now have your new <laughs> decanter of endless water. Which is a sick item that has a lot of ah, potential water. applications, especially when your buddy has, uh, what is it, control water or shape water. Anyway, so now that you guys have that, I am going to. Do you, you have a way to put it? Get. I'm now going to shift try. back to our good friend. Um, What's up? The person arriving close. Do they have to look like how I did? Huh? <laughs> person being arriving close look like how I did. Uh, not exactly. He, at this point, he is very scrawny. Yeah. I was curious if they were. Uh, uh, underfed. 
we we find the way. Hey, check out this thing. This what we found. Geyser. As you see that uh, the four people are standing up there, and the cult man starts yeah, that's speaking. That's all I got. Balin Filey. He's looking at the freaking uh, ragged looking man. You are accused of treason against your government and our fine city. Not only do you hurt the great town you live in, but you refuse to inform us of the location of your accomplices, who will no doubt try and spread more chaos. Wait, hang on, what's happening? What do you say in your defense? Oh, so, as you said this, you feel you hear like an uneasy murmuring from the crowd, like this and you don't recognize that man. Hmm? You do, actually. What? You recognize him as someone who worked for your family. Well, as more of a, uh, what, what did he? He was more of a guard than anything else. You see, uh, the man lets out a little dry cough, you know, wheezes a little bit. As, let's see. Cult man shakes his head and then whispers something to the prisoner. The sentence is death. Executioner, do your job. Executioner walks up, kicks the back of his knee so the prisoner, you know, falls onto him. You know, you know how he's trying to start heading back. You know, he's a mess with people. As the crowd goes silent, the executioner places the sword on his back of his neck, and then raises his sword, as, as you turn around, uh, you actually hear something from behind you. Let's see. You hear the noise of a few arrows actually hitting the, uh, stand. And as, dang it, you're not looking, so I have to describe it sound, <laughs> not sight. Okay. I mean, if I heard arrows, then I'd turn around. As you see a few people trying to make their way through the crowd to the stand. As you look around, you see that on top of the surrounding buildings there are a few people with bows and arrows that are, you know, trying to shoot onto the stand. The crowd around is starting to, like, try and run away, disperse. As guards are moving to intercept the people who are trying to get to the stand. Let's see. As it's the cultist. You know, the guy on top of the sand. He raises his hand as, you know, fire appears. As Larth actually tackles him down as a few arrows hit where he was. As, you know, he whispers something to the cult member as the cult member's expression sours a bit. And then they both disappear. Looks like they disappear into uh, smoke. You doing anything? Just chill like a villain. Uh -huh. Any of the people in the building, does one happen to be nearby me? Hmm? Does one have to be nearby on the building I could potentially get up? To? On top of the building? Uh, let's see. Looking at the map. I have a map. Uh, yeah, if you started walking away, you would be able to get up there in a very short amount of time. <laughs> I'd like to do so to try and see if I can find one of them to figure out what's happening. <coughs> okay, now. Uh, after that, I'm going to move back to these guys. As you guys, is he in the restroom? Yes. Hey, I swear. Uh, I guess we'll just chill. So, Lucas, how you been? Good. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. How's school going? Good. Oh, that's great. That's great. Straight A's. Yes. Oh, very He's nice. Right. <laughs> nice. I don't know. This kid's a nerd, so we might have straight A's. I mean, I hear he plays D and D. <laughs> you know, you were gambling with, you were playing with fire, opening fire on the heroes with full freaking volume. We get I do guys to die. I'm just saying, you were playing with fire. Having <laughs> yeah, a copyright strikes. No. I mean, Nintendo's not bad at all. <laughs> What else is in the shop? You said there was like pelts. Mm -hmm. and dry meat. Pelts, dry meat, you know, basic ranger stuff. There's a bow. There's an M32 launcher. There's an antimatter <laughs> rifle. <laughs> what is this for? There's Jesus. a Mexican. <laughs> Would you like a demonstration? Stand at the door. There's a gun dump. <laughs> <laughs> like a 
small toy one, or there's a spaceship. <laughs> It's like going through the roof. <laughs> There's a galaxy. There's the Death Star part. <laughs> There's there is Kirex parents. <laughs> There's Blen. Anyway, so you're back. Hey! Is it that you're my parents are here? <laughs> I don't know, we were talking about what was in the store. We're switching back to you, by the way. I also heard an anti-matter rifle. <laughs> There's also a Death Star in the shop. So it was a good one. Why didn't we look at the store? <laughs> As you guys actually hear a commotion starting in the direction that Blend went. They found it. Uh, we need peek to out, we peek out the door. Hmm? We peek out the door. You can. You see there is a road. Oh, <laughs> 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 the mind goblins! Oh no! <laughs> you see that there are people who are running away from where Blint was. <laughs> oh! We need to get <laughs> I'm gonna turn to the shopkeeper and say, we'll be back, maybe. Probably. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm running towards him. All right, so, as he, what are you, you're going with him on this yeah. one. You know what, you're going yeah. with him. As you guys will make it there in a little bit. As we are back to you, as, what were you doing? You see that one of the men with their bow and arrows is chilling up there. You know, I forget. Yeah. This is running far away. <laughs> running back to the shadow of climbing up to to be able to talk to the person. Mm-hmm. As you're like, can't you don't you guys have a climbing stick or something? Can you just climb up top of I think? I think that's Lucas. No, no, no. I think he has something. Oh, Why is it a Maybe he doesn't. I'm not sure how monkey mm. is and how I how don't think I have anything. He feels very monkey. I think he's more out than um, the monk. When I had a monk character, I think I could run up walls. However, that was at a higher level. Yeah, I don't think I have anything like that yet. You have anything else that would get you up there? I don't believe so. Aside from a horse? <laughs> I think I have a horse. <laughs> horse. I forgot we had the horse. I knew I had it. Honestly, I do, they're mostly there to just explain how you're moving across the continent so fast. D&D you reasons. Know what? I should make a character that has amnesia so that when I forget things, I just forget some character. Hey, that's, character yeah. hey, that's what I did. <laughs> no, I think I'm just having a climate. But I just have like permanent amnesia, so I can't remember anything that's happened. No, so, uh, and I'll say that uh, you could make your way through the building, you know, and just be like, Hi! And then run up the stairs and try and make it to the top. It'll only take like a minute. As when you get up there, you see that there are about two people, both of them who are, you know, shooting every once in a while, trying to get the guards who are now. They're tr their guards are, you know, starting to freaking. That's the right word. You know, just show up. I'll say show up. I'm not going to be fancy. As they begin to show up, and there are a few of them who are trying to surround the three people who are trying to make it to the stand. Go! <laughs> go! <on. laughs> yeah, I need to find someone who can make a gun for me. You can make the gun, you just need a place. Uh, so I, I need a table. You, you have a cannon. You have a crafting table. You have a cannon. You have four wooden planks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How far away are the guards? Are the guards? Let's see. They're up here. They're up there. 20 feet. That's not that much considering how high you are. Actually, 30 feet. I changed my mind. Okay. No, 40 feet. Yeah. Actually, 50. 60 feet. 60. 100? Oh. 200. 1,000. 500. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the continent. Uh, I should do that. You're going to have to go pe uh, way past the ocean again. They're off planet. Across the ocean. They're on the Death Star. They're on the moon. On the Death Star. You're going to have to get them. Different plane of existence. You don't exist. What are you examining the face. I don't want to cause suicide. I'm going to 
hold my hands up just so that they can see if they turn and say, I'm here to help. You see that they're, they point at you first thing, they're like, who are you? Wait. You see that they're a bit on guard, they're like, I thought you won't, can you help them? They're trying to execute more of our men, we can't have that. Alright. And. Okay. How high up am I off the ground? Fifteen feet. Fifteen feet? Okay. I'm going to. It's not top it. What did I choose? That's an important question, because I know I pressed it. I should have saved. Yeah, I know I just identified that's right. I'm going to use enhanced ability to cast cat's grace on myself. Oh snap! Ooh. Advantage on dex checks and I don't take damage if falling from 20 feet or less. Sick. Fascinated. So I'm going to immediately just jump off the building and then what? go running in to help with big birds. So you just long jump off of the building? Like do you like Spider-Man. Do you like mm-hmm. a freaking ball when you long jump? Around? <laughs> As you begin running in, I am going to need some help. I need you to draw me a. I do not have good drawings. You, it's a circle. I need you to draw me a big circle. That's the issue. Where? Let's see. So I need it to be. Let's see. That's ten. Fifty radius circle. So. so you want? Let's go sixty. Where's the eraser? Make it ten even. Where is the eraser? Why are you using your hand? Stop. Yeah. Don't use your hands to erase it. So, ten spaces either way. <laughs> Jump off the building. Get out of the way! Get out of the Shit! What the hell are you doing? You're burning me, you're burning me! 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 You're burning me
Those three are trying to run up. There are guards on either side. So chilling like a villain. How am I supposed to differentiate between this guard and this guard? Based on the reddish color is our guard. Fine, fine. Here, I won't use my really guard. Right, guard on. No, you know what? Instead, <laughs> I got you. I have tokens for this. Exactly. I have a dragon. You know the fall you You want to know who the bad guy is? I'll show you who the bad guy is. Maybe the bad guys were the us the whole time. I was gonna say the friends we made along the way. <laughs> so here, I'll tell you Maybe what. Maybe Larry was the bad guy after all. Final boss, you guys are gonna be so friggin' surprised. Larry could never be the bad guy. It's me, I'm the one. Larry's gonna be at the back riding on a T-Rex <laughs> with an <air> revenge. <laughs> Everyone, I need y'all to be here, right? Maybe it's me, because I have amnesia. Uh, you are Ryan. Oh my god, that would be such a sick freaking plot twist. Why didn't I do that? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I, I need I need numbers. <laughs> Not G. Not G. I think we knew they were guards because he got the token now. Lucas, what are you doing? 100. I wish okay. I could read those. It's good enough. You can figure it out. Yeah, it I see one, two, a right angle. <laughs> F. S. Guard right angle. 111. <laughs> Guard 90 degrees. Alright, so. <laughs> do me a favor. Roll initiative. Okay, These start. guys will join in after two turns. That's Guard. a lot of turns. Guard. Seven. Guard. Seven. Okay, so you're gonna be not as far down as I thought. But Guard F though. Seven. Oh. He's swear. Uh, that guy is up there. He's hurt. He's a dinosaur. Watch out! <laughs> as allow me to switch over to the sick combat music real fast. Exactly. Legendary, yes. most epic battle music. Lucas. Is that the guy who has the mask? That is the guy who is not a mask, but he is he the one in the ragged yeah. execution knee clothes. As, give me a second. Up first, before anyone else, is me, because I have to find my laser pointer. <laughs> cookie. Yes, very good. Yeah, but cookie is first. Have you ever thought about the square root of the cookie? <gasps> Found it! Sorry. Hi, Tandu. I'm so yes. unprofessional today. I might be rushing. As Mr. One, right here. Guard One. Guard One, he takes his spear as he runs up. He does like a cool spin to show that he is not like the Charlotte guards who are just a little wimp. <laughs> as he's going to try to hit that guy. guy. As. Nine. He's going to successfully hit that person, and he's going to deal. I'm gonna find the circumference. I mean, I'm gonna a amount of damage. <laughs> lethal or non-lethal? I don't know. We don't know yet. As up next is Mr. Three. I wish I had Mr. Three, right there, and he's going to take his freaking battle axe. That's right. These guys have different weapons because they're not like. The wusses of the Charlotte Empire. And he is going to take his battle axe, and he is going to just miss because this person ducks under the blade. Neo, is that you? Yeah, this one. <laughs> Up next is the Mr. Matrix. Where'd my laser go? Am I blind? Oh, there's a laser. As Mr. Blue going to respond, or Mrs. Blue. She's going to take out a freaking. She's going to draw a short sword that she was hiding in her cloak. <gasps> She's going to try and shake the guy behind her. Mm. Ah, I missed. That's going to hit, and that's Mr. One. And he's going to deal an amount of damage. An amount, well, I'm not going to have to tell you. You don't know how much health they have. But yeah, you do. I'm going to do one damage at a time. Oh my gosh, you're going to figure out how much they got. All right, so. Dude, why do you have to? Well, I'm doing one AC. This is a lot of NPCs doing stuff, and not y'all. As she's going to run up, they are flanking this fool. As they're going to attack, get a natural <laughs> twenty. As this person is going to take the dual wielded swords, which isn't great when he just landed natural twenty. 
<laughs> deal n amount of damage and basically just slice two blades into her because, you know, who cares? Why not? I need a medic bag! And second attack mm. because dual wielding is cool. I got a 2 and an 8, so that's not going to land, even with the plus comedy. Classic comedy. And up next, uh, I roll that edge. up next is Mr. Green. He is going to take his short sword, because, you know, they all have smaller weapons because they were hiding and trying to blend into the crowd, like our good friend Ohm. He's going to roll a 1. He's going to, he's gonna, as he's drawing the sword, he gets stuck in his cloak. We can't right. get it out. Mr. Green. Up next is our good friend, Prem Blend. Yeah. So, that is my model. Right there. Lucas has it. We'll wait for Lucas to do this part. My no, Lucas! Lucas, what are you doing? There yes. we go. Yes. Blend's here. Oh. Am I there? I don't know. Where are you? I don't know. I didn't know which side I was coming from. You can be right here. Because yes. I said so. As you jump in, breaking through a window for some reason for the dramatic entrance, as everyone's on end. Whoa! As you. Da da da. 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 40. No, I'd have to sprint all the way there. He, he'll be fine. I'm your opponent now. As he. Whoa! Turns around to see. I'm gonna punch him. What number is that? 100. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Lucas has got you. Oh, 111. Dude, I can't I wasn't it. joking. Right angle, F, S. Uh, sure, I'm just going to say that one is Mr. Six. So that would be the one that would be six. I could not sure. Be before Lucas could. Uh, 15. 15? That one misses. Okay, but what if I do it again? Then I would love that. Oh, it, I mean, 15 would that. miss again. <laughs> uh, 26. That one will hit! Yo. Not natural 26, though. That's what you think. <laughs> uh, 7. 7 damage? It would be funny. What would be funny? If I smite it. Oh, snap, crack, pop, rice crispy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? At the moment. That's why I was asking. Uh, Lucas, what are you doing? Don't, Dude, don't ruin my stuff! Uh, uh, total you're stabbing 17. my stuff! What's up? Total of 17. 17 total hit. Just barely. Damage. Oh, whoa! Because I smited it and the Jeez! Okay. Anything else? Oh, yeah, bonus action punch. Uh, 27. 20. Hmm. Can't here. Uh, you know what? That'll hit. Nine damage. Nine damage. All right. This guy's down. As you run in, what? What do you? Two hits or whatever. What do you do? Missile swing missed because I was still recovering from the landing. They recovered. So as he moves his head, it's like from just the freaking noise of your fist missing, and then as that one he falls down, he's like, Ah, oh, my freaking ribs! Here, give me that guy. My leg. You guys will be lucky if there's any fight left. <laughs> anyway, so, anything else? I believe you still have movement. Oh, the next guy in the background. Let's see, he's pretty occupied over there, but I may want to come over. Because this way. This way. What's this? That is the injured uh, guy. He is in ragged clothes. <laughs> Getting in the way in case he decides, or in case Blue goes down or whatever reason, and that is my turn. Alright, so, after that is Mr. Four, who is right here. They're very surprised about you. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, is going to start running over to Blaine. Does he make it up the hill? Yeah. Right. And Mr. Five is last, and he's like, what the heck? Okay, I guess I'm just going to kill this guy. Runs up, and the person who's supposed to handle that portion of the table is gone. Too busy gorging himself on my food. <laughs> and he's going to try and shank this guy with, what did I I gave him a double-bladed scimitar. <laughs> I gave him a gun. <laughs> he has a double-bladed scimitar. That's sick. Seriously, how do you disagree to that 
close range with a gun. Like, have you never played Darkest Dungeon? It's called a point and shot. He's going to, you know, he does like a cool little spin with it, then he slashes at Mr. White's. First one, slashes at his leg, yeah. dealing that much damage. That's oh. actually decent oh. damage. Okay. Yeah. Um. One sec. Alright. Lucas. Taking my stuff. <laughs> it's not very kind of you. Yeah. It's not very kind of you. I gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken anything yet. As he's going to spin around and try and hit him with the other side of the double blade scimitar. It's a weapon. It is. It's a cool weapon. As that one is going to miss as he just backs up out of the way of the attack. As top of the way of the attack. He's like, ow, my leg. Uh, walk, walk. Uh. As we are now top of the round, back to Mr. One with his spear. He's just going to try and take it and just whack. Now you can try and stab him. And they're flanking, so he has advantage. I rolled a 7 and a 9, so that's not hitting him. So, up next, Mr. Three, right there. Taking his battle axe. Why? He's gonna bring it back. Wah! Bring it in. That one will hit. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that is a decent amount of damage. No, it's not. As this guy stumbles back for a second, as he just had freaking battle axe shoved into his freaking shoulder blade. Hmm. Interesting. As over there, a bad oh, yeah. with the little short sword, trying to fight against two people. And she takes her sword, and she's gonna try and stab Mr. One again. Oh. Mr. One? Oh, Mr. One. She's Mr. House? That's gonna hit. That's over 20. And that is. They can roll over a 20, James. That is a decent amount of damage. As after that, Mr. Green. Wait. Green. Blue. Blue. Two. Blue hitting two this time. Anyway, two is going to attack blue. Got it. That's going to hit. As this one's going to take his flail. Dealing damage. Which is shaky. Alright, up next is Mr. Green again. He's gonna shank Mr. Three. Misses as we're back to blend. Look at it. Oh. So it is a, once again punch it time. Got it? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Uh not twenty for a twenty-nine. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, Ten on the initial roll, and I'm going to smite. Please, please. Thank you. So ten plus twenty-four. Ten plus twenty-four. Okay. So he runs up to you, takes his great sword, tries to slash. You just freaking duck, do a freaking backflip kick. And when he lands, your fist is there, and he goes flying freaking back, like, over there. As he's super... I don't know if you're killing them or not. Super! He's... whatever. Anyway, so... Wait, what? That guy was number four. four. Got it. <laughs> I do need inspiration. <laughs> well, do I have a tool for you? <laughs> Man, if only I had... More punches. Uh, 21 to hit. 21 hit. Uh, 9 on the die. 9 to Mr. 1. Okay, he is. As you punch him in the face, he stumbles for a second as he uses his spear to get back up to his feet. He's bigger than standing. Flurry of blows. <laughs> What's that? Oh, 14. On the first one. Uh, 22. 22 hit. What? Uh, 9. I'm out. just a threat. 9 damage? Mm -hmm. So, you punch him in the face, he catches himself, and when he looks back, there's a second fist punching him down to the ground. I 
Spin his freaking blade as he's gonna. And that 20. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do any of us have a lucky feet yet? I was tempted to, uh, but I, I took. Do. Um, Do you want to, like, fix that? Not there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to be there for lucky, do you? And, all right, oh. so as he has his second attack, <laughs> just across the world. That hits. <laughs> I have to eat spiders. I sense a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Alright, as this guy is Wait, barely standing. Can I use Lucky on other people? As you I see. Don't use yeah. it on myself. I believe you can use it on enemies. As you see, the guy, once again, yeah. he slashed oh. his side and then he brought the other side in. I and like, gave him a little stab in the shoulder. I thought it was like. As we're now back to like, White over there, he takes a short sword. Let's go! Don't die away! Roll the seven so that didn't work. As round as at uh, initiative count zero. A few other people show up. The enemy! <laughs> no, not this time. As these three show up. Yeah! yeah. On the outskirts. Yeah. Outskirts. Why are we... <laughs> Why are you all spread out? <laughs> I don't know. I started running first. So well, there's not like much it. of a fight left. Jeez, <laughs> Drew, I started running first. If I don't, you will! So do I have like an extra five feet, maybe? <laughs> an extra ten feet. Wait, no, 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 no. Drake is first. But I was... He has a movement speed of 40 feet. <laughs> Drake is first. <laughs> Drake is first. <laughs> 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 Kill one. <laughs> you three, roll initiative to join. Do we know the good or bad guys yet? Uh, you, you can know, see who Ohm is looking You see at. that Ohm is punched. He freaking launched someone into space. Uh, <laughs> they're still coming down. <laughs> You see, you saw like freaking Devil May Cry freaking uh, uh, combo that guy. <laughs> I, mean, I got a six. Six? You, that was like a freaking limit break. I think that pulled out the full Marvel vs. Capcom combo. Let's see that Drake. Drake thin. I got a natural one resulting in a three. Dang! We got three. <laughs> no, I rolled a three on my die, to be fair. Let's see, so you, you are Kurek? I am. Yeah, I know. Okay, Finrock, tell me you got a decent roll. I got 13. 13? Yo! That is surprisingly good. For me. You're the highest initiative of us four. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Also, normal. So for the first time in the world. <laughs> yes! Alright, so. We are at the top of the round. You see that Blend seems to be fighting the guards. You see that there are a few strangers with swords <laughs> who are trying to fight the guards, and a guy up there, ragged clothes, bag over his head, looks like he's not having a good time. Oh, he wants to be the enemy. And top of the round, we are now back to Mr. Uh, three over there as he sees a lot of people show up, but his mama didn't raise no Twitter. <laughs> So, unlike those people in the Charlotte Empire, <laughs> as he takes his battle axe, whoosh, let's see. Okay. As he actually manages to hit him. As Mr. Green is going to take a decent amount. He's going to take. Uh huh, uh huh, Mr. Green. Not having a great day. Not having the best time of his life. As the battle axe. He dodges the main parts, but it was all just a freaking feint as he brings the other hot part and just bonks him on the head. <laughs> just <laughs> makes him out. And Blue over there. What's that? Blue actually uh, begins running this way. Chorus. As there is an opportunity attack. <laughs> Your liver is forfeit. Oh, Alright, so. That. As that will definitely hit. As, let's see, that is Mr. What are you? You guys' handwriting sucks. One, two, two, three, five. Oh, Mr. Two. Alright, so the flail just goes. Hit 
gets <laughs> lit. As you see, she's like, ah, my leg, but keeps running. Despite the pain. As she runs over and friggin' helps uh, the person to his feet and is like, come on, follow me. As she runs a little bit more, like right there, since she's holding someone, she's at half speed. As up next is surprisingly Finrod. Me. Okay. I've done 15. And I'm going to use Firebolt. Okay. I think I just have to roll. Firebolt's a person. Yeah. Oh, damn. Because yeah. he's the one yeah. that blends. <laughs> <laughs> we got confused. Oh, Glenn, do you have any sassy remarks as backup arrives or any quippy one-liners? I don't I think haven't. you I don't I'm not paying attention. Doesn't matter. Tom's a free action. I just try to kick someone. Come on. Oh, our right. better yet. I think he would Finrod. Me. Finrod. Do you have any quippy one liner as you will appear? No. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one liner. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We do not uh, negotiate with terrorists, and we definitely don't negotiate with their prisoners. <laughs> All right, with so this treasure, I saw. Or the rats. A 23 to hit this guy with fireball. Very hit. Roll your damage. Why are you trying to kill a guy that? What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I bet they're expensive. Jeez. <laughs> Let's see. Plus, nice 248. Yeah, that's good damage. A lot of points and four. How much damage? 241. 104. Doesn't kill the crowd. 100 v fours. No, no. If you roll max, maybe. That's Actually, I don't remember. 100 d4s, 400. I don't remember. 19 fire damage. 19 as this one. You see that they're having a dramatic moment. You see he has his freaking, that one had a flail. You're both, whoosh, you're like about to punch. You're about to get hit by the flail. As out of nowhere, a firebolt comes out and hits him, knocking him down. What? <laughs> nah, I was like, oh, moment up. You're both like, as he goes oh, yeah. off the map. <laughs> Donezo. I'm gonna finish stands and start conserving the pun. <laughs> As up no, next. Oh, for it. is that your turn or do you have anything for your bonus action? Um... Jeremy, can I no. call out to him and ask, who are we fighting? You can respond as a free action. You also might not recognize me because I still have the disguise up. The Does one it, you just shot. Disguise your voice. I I don't I didn't disguise my voice. Okay. I just disguised my appearance. The worm shot someone. <laughs> Keep the person in the center safe. Got it. So what is that? I'm using. Wait. Bonus action? Can I use a spell as a bonus action? Do you have a spell you can use as a bonus action? I don't think Fireball is a bonus action. No. It's just one action, so. Between 1,000 and 100, I'm not going to be No. You, what type of damage? Lightning damage? Uh, He's immune to lightning damage, you fool! Psychic. <laughs> oh, psychic um, won't work. I don't think I can use another action nah. when it's not attacking. Punch damage. This one, this one has. Immunity to force, I decided. Statistics. <laughs> Statistics. Anyway, what are you doing? What do you mean, action or a bonus action to like, let out Jeremy? So, it is an item interaction to pull it out. You have to look up the specifics of the uh, portable. I believe it is either an action or a bonus action. I believe it's an action to even like unfold it. So, okay, so it is an action to unfold it. So you can take right. it out and next turn open it up. No, I won't take it out. Oh, because ads. There are a lot of ads on this. But anyway, um, so. I think I'm done with my turn. Alright, so up next, Mr. Green over there. He is actually going to say screw it and start running. Does he disengage? Lucas, why? Yes. One, two. He does three. take an opportunity attack round. Right. He said he disengaged. Well, he disengaged right. 
I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> As up next is Mr. Glenn. Yo. Five, ten, fifteen, forty, five, ten, thirty, five, forty. <laughs> 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 Fucking kick! <yeah. laughs> I did not hear Falcon at first. <laughs> uh, 27 hit. 27 hit. Okay. Uh, 8 damage. 8 damage. What number oh, is number 3? 8. <laughs> number 3 is... Okay, 8. Whoa. Okay, he's still standing though. Good argument. However, 27 hit. Uh, 9 damage. 9 damage. Barely standing. Good argument. However... <laughs> Uh, Come on. 18. 18 hit. <laughs> uh, 6 damage. As he is down. As, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, you are higher level, so you're allowed to be more over the top. What happens with this as you move like, what, 40 feet? <laughs> as the guy starts to run away, is this guy's about to give chase. He's what? still staring at the green running away as suddenly he turns, gets punched <laughs> in the face, punched into the gut. Then, ah! <laughs> he'll just head down, so just punch, punch! <laughs> as the freaking ground cracks! <laughs> as he goes. <laughs> as that is that turn. There's G3. G3 down! It is now Mr. Double Blade, number five. As. Mom and Dick Grace do Try. As. He's gonna give a slash at Mr. White. He's going to hit. Oh, oh no. It's not good for so this guy. That one to fit me. I did happen to roll pretty low, though. But he does have a second attack. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That took. As the second attack misses, because he happened to stumble back a little bit out of the way of the attack. As up next is actually our good pal, Drake. Finally. As you see, there is one last guard. The rest of them are either unconscious or dead. I don't know. We're what still in the space program. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get catapulted. Into space? I punched it. I just oh, stabbed him okay. with my spear. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 10. 10 total? Yes. That misses. Oh, no. 12 total. Oh. oh, what? 12? The spear says plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, that one misses. You have a second time. Oh. Attack him again. Alright. 21. That hits. A light jab in his general direction. <laughs> <laughs> as you chuck the spear into the ground, as you run up, retrieve it, and. Deal damage. Oh, he's not down yet, but deal damage. It is a 2d6. Because you do have your shield, so you can only use one hand with that. Four. Four total? Yes. <laughs> really? Wait, plus? 2d6. Plus, plus six. six. All right, so 10. Yeah. All right, so he is hurt, but he's still standing. <laughs> if only you had five more attacks. Holy crap. <laughs> and he's what? Whoa. Mr. White over there is up as he's going to be like, thank you. As he's going to try and shank a guy. He's going to roll a one. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> As he cannot get it unstuck from his cloak. As he's. <laughs> Thank you! He is really trying! <laughs> Pull it out yes. like a scapedon. <laughs> Up last, but not least, is our good treasured pal, Kirak. Alright. There's um, one guy left. Coconut thrower. <laughs> Just get you some coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Go out and get coconuts. Any coconuts? If I gave you a focus, that was a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I summon my horse. Instead of pondering the orb, ponder the coconut and throws right. it at children. Meteor swore, <laughs> but instead of meteors, it's coconuts. <laughs> I'll touch it and I'll be a coconut ball. 
<laughs> I think I just go with the simple tried and true here of Eldritch Black. Class, it, it's a classic for a reason. <laughs> Blade, uh, <laughs> shot number one. Coconut blast is a sixteen to hit. Oh, no, no, this coconut might be better. Number two. As you see, he takes his scimitar and slices through the eldritch blast. With the, the coconut, second one, no! rolling a twenty-two. Twenty-two. That hits though. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what's that? Oh. Uh, fifteen force. Fifteen force. He's barely standing. Oh, As he is moved back, back though. Not that far. <laughs> Just <laughs> 10 feet to his faces. As he is barely standing. But up next is Blue. That can move three spaces. Move these two. Because they're making their oh. retreat. Three. Oh. Yep. As, let's see. Up next, Finrod. They have opened the path. I'm going to use fireballs again. You're going to have to move a little bit. Am I? Yeah, this stand is just... Oh, you can do that. Yeah, just walk up so you can oh, see. Okay. Fireball. <laughs> Catapult. Dude, this guy is slices right through the other fireballs. He slashes. He is... He is, his mother is proud. <laughs> Jeez, this guy should be the main character. Your mother. Oh my gosh. As he's going to continue that way. More feet. As, you know, he's basically out. As, gee, I wonder who's going to end it. Finishing this fight. <laughs> Chief, would you like to tell me what you're doing there? Sir, punching. <laughs> oh, it's your turn. <laughs> who could have seen that coming? 22. Hit. <sighs> As you see, he's nine. He slashes through the Eldritch Blast, takes a hit, gets stabbed, slashes through another one. He grabs his head. <laughs> oh, it's a pile driver! Oh, is that a pile driver? I don't know. No. As we are out of initiative, you see I that. Uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> these three die. Uh, come with us, there'll be more guards shortly. I told my speed I had to act in his Oh no, I missed him. Hit him. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> as we are out of combat, like I said, as they say, here, come with us. Uh, the guards will be after you. As they begin running away into the town. And you're going to ride a horse after them. As. I'm just going to put the cloak back. I follow them. them. As you guys are following, you guys run down one alley. Run down a second, run down a third, as they stop, they knock on a door, as it opens up, and they're like, get inside, as they get to their secret hideouts. That's right. Ooh. Hey, I thought, this is even hide, oh, it's down here. Shut up. Anyway, so, <laughs> as you guys, I'm assuming you guys get in, yeah. they shut the door, and you hear the noise of people running outside, guards yelling for, they went this way, I think. <laughs> Crap, we lost them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Let's see. One second has passed. You see, as they take off their hoods, you can actually see them much better. You actually recognize them. The three of them who were here actually look like uh, they work for your house. Two of them were guards, one of them was a cook. Uh, as the injured uh, prisoner is actually taken upstairs, this is a this is the back of the tavern, so. Before he's taken. Mm hmm. I have a spell for this. My spell, I mean, my paladin feet. I forgot to tell anyone about what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell everyone. Where is it? There's paladin. <laughs> uh, lay on hands. <laughs> yeah, I do I have that. your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just restore to help. <laughs> that was helpful. He is now not as almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> I as, hate it. I feel like this is the best way. As they take him up the stairs to try and, you know, more heal him with herbs and, I don't know, freaking juice boxes and crap. <laughs> as, as long as he sleeps through the day, they'll be fine. Healing potions. No, just sleep tonight. Healing potions in this world are just juice boxes. Blend, correct? Yeah. Did you get the message from Oliver? No. Oh, well, wait. 
you know, Rome me would be a Rome for remembering. History seems kind of general intelligence. Romy, who's all of her? Romy, history or intelligence, either or. Theory. 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 Not FNAF, no. This is not, this is not Freddy Fazbear. Freddy <laughs> Fazbear! <laughs> we sent him, uh, we sent him after what happened to come before me. No, I don't know. Shoot. Change it. Well, wait, so you don't know? So, uh, uh, the new lord of the town, uh, he goes by Murdak. Uh, he showed up, claimed to have paperwork from the king that deemed him as the new lord of Water's Edge. Uh, lady and lord, uh, Marathadar questioned him. He did not like that, and both of them were executed for treason. Uh, after this happened, we sent a retainer out to try and inform you, but you must not have made it. And my laptop just fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, Wait, soon, soon after that, uh, apparently they didn't like the rest of the retainers that worked for the family. So, so they climbed the sleep. We all, they came after us to we, my brother been called us? we don't know. He was, when this all went down, he was gone. When he came back, uh, he we just saw him next to him. We don't know why he is there and why he would not support the Lord and Lady after what happened. By the way, time these do you guys hear what happened? I did not. Yes. Yeah, uh backstory story stuff. His parents were murdered. Okay, I thought that might have That's what I was picking up on. Jeez! Yeah. Wow. Oh. You good. Okay. <laughs> I like the you good was out of here. No, okay, time these. Uh I I was like more like are we back into the game? <laughs> okay, are you good? I know you're good. Are you good? Uh, okay, I know that that was talking to him to try and see, but it's just the funniest <laughs> thing. Someone figured that their parents were murdered and he's just like, hey. We cool. <laughs> I'll cure you of the psychic damage. You <laughs> said so they got executed, right? Yes. By me. Wait. Freaking backstage. With this treasure, I think. I my bird to my dog. Either way, whenever we see him, he's always at a huge advantage. In some situation, we can't beat a man. Ah, uh, like recently, uh, we heard where some of the where a few of our members were being held. 
So we sent um, a party in to try and free them. We had someone who was able to turn them invisible and everything, but apparently there was some sort of trap there. He, Murdoch has some sort of soldiers that they look human, but something about them is wrong. They, the way they move is just unnatural. And they are very, very perceptive. Do they have dragon scales? Uh, no. These people look exactly the same as the other people. Except, the only time I can tell is when they move, because they are very fast, and it looks like they are being puppeteered. So, our people went in, invisible, to find our men. We heard a very loud, loud screech, a few seconds of fighting, and then nothing. That fight cost us our only spellcaster, which is why most of our fights have boiled down to little skirmishes like we just did. But what are you all here for anyway? No. 
Is that like five minutes? <laughs> nah, it's probably been like half an hour. I might just drop it. <laughs> 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 I'll change my clothing to be my, you know, priestly garb while I'm here. Well, yeah. The people I'm traveling with. Mm -hmm. These are two people from the Shar Empire. One being a priest, the other being some sort of mechanic. Mm -hmm. He is someone with dragon skills, mm -hmm. but he doesn't seem to remember his past. But he's been accompanying us in fighting with these people. Oh, thank you. I. If they were with you, I assume that they were fine. Especially after they helped us in that fight. I make this go really, really shiny now. Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> By the way, James, I appreciate you. And he's like, <laughs> One of us has to. <laughs> Is there anything any of you need? We don't have too, too much, but... General plan. <laughs> you can't just walk out really and really pronouncing that I'm here. Hey, everybody! Glenn's here! What? I'm unsure of how the populace will react to my continued existence. The general population is displeased by Murdoch. He shut down all trade, and in general, most people are not fond of him. However, they believe that the Omrathidar family is still alive. They believe that they are supporting Murdoch. Were you all previously here in charge of stuff? Generally? Tanti. <clears throat> Your parents were the uh, Lord and Lady. They were basically, would be the right word, Kind of mayor, but more official sentiment. Of this place, yes. But. So do we, do we know where Murdoch, Murdoch lives? Where he stays? Not at all. If we knew, we would have tried to attack him right now, but. Like I said, I think our best bet is to do something to try and draw him out. If we don't, uh, the only time we'll see him is during one of his schemes. He's had several that are just big traps set up to try and kill more of the resistance. Do you know of anything specifically that we could do that could draw him out? Anything with uh, Blend. If uh, Blend threatens to reveal the truth about him, the people will most likely listen since he is, everyone knows him. And how do you want me to gather people? I do not know. Mm. Well, as much as I hate to say it, a staged execution did bring a lot of people to one place. That's what I was thinking. Maybe one of us can tell it's going to get executed. I'm going to make an announcement! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we can't, I can't stay serious for more than five seconds, I'm sorry. Why would we be the ones to get them to call to group up if we could have them do it for us, but... How would they know the execution? It was most likely announced. Are you suggesting I simply give myself up and believe they will execute me? But if we can get another person set up, get them out. And you believe they'll risk it again based on what just happened? They got out just now. Yes, they did. So do you think Murdoch would willingly just execute another person in public when their last were taken? He has to keep them afraid somehow and show that the resistance is losing. They'll be higher cards. Potentially. Also means it's risky, as opposed to say just getting everyone together for a meeting that supposedly Glenn will be there, who no one has heard from for how long? But again, 
that you have to get them all to there. So, if I may. Okay, stop dropping. Dude, this is why your glasses are always this broke. This is why I leave the other room. That's fair. Anyway, so, <clears throat> if you want to try and move throughout the city, the streets are not the way to go right now. But most likely, uh, there'll be super high security for the next few days. Although, the sewer system, we have been using that recently. Now, uh, Murdoch does send people down there since he figured out that we're using it. But, it's much easier to lose anyone and move around undetected down there. Then it's a picture of a bus. Better see a little frizzle. <laughs> and then lose them. They'll go back to check what it is because they don't want it to be passed around the resistance, of course. And should it say something like, Ohm plans to reveal to the public the truth of his parents' death unless you meet him on this day in the central city. I am not invisible. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I know that that was random, but it could help in uh, the message. If uh, getting it to the guard. I just turned invisible, had the message in my hand, waving around in front of them. That was very slurred. Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, but look at his glasses, obviously. But you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm imagining him. <laughs> but, <laughs> could we just send a, as much as I hate to say it, can you get Jeremy out of the back? Could we just send as much as I hate to say it? No, no, no I think the plan is send him off to his death with a note tied to his back. Jeremy, no, not again! <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Could you send Jeremy? How much did it out? cost to rebuild him? You no, tell me. Magic. Okay. <laughs> well, I could just so, rebuild him. Jeremy 3.0 is just being. In the used middle of this like conversation, <laughs> you guys hear a piercing screech <laughs> in the room higher up in the uh, mm. in the tavern. Is that no? No. Are those the things he was talking about? You see, as he, as the uh, person you were talking to runs up the stairs to go see what's going on. It's going to go up as well. Yes. Yeah, so. Alright, so as you enter, you see that there was the room that the injured prisoner was in. The prisoner is gone. You see, the person who was helping him is bloodied and uh, laying against the floor, and the window is broken, as if someone <clears throat> jumped out. The person who is bloody, are they alive? Yes. Okay. Yeah, a little blood. What happened? The, the prisoner, he, he... When I started helping him out of nowhere, he just attacked me. The prisoner? Yes. Also, you begin hearing murmuring outside the window. From the floor below. It does not sound like guards yet, but you see that thing? They're like, oh, what is that? Coming up at the ceiling. Not the ceiling, the sky outside. Oh, the sky outside. Mm -hmm. Is there a roof to this building? Yes. I want to go to the roof of the building. So as you look out, you see that the clouds are actually positioned with an arrow pointing at the building. You can see that. As if there was a sky right. Right. 
I would uh, like to attempt to cast a spell. You can, but it may be a little late. Skyrite? No, not you. Come I on. mean, if Skyrite happened, if, if there's a no, three, you can get rid of it, so I'm just <laughs> How long has the supposed Skyrite been up for, to my knowledge? I don't know, a few seconds, maybe half a minute. But all the clouds in the sky positioned into an arrow. That's hard to miss. Yeah. Hey guys, look, there's a cloud in the sky with the arrows on it. What do you think I mean? If you're at enough of a distance, you don't actually see where it's pointing until you approach it. Mm. But also, they may have been expecting this. Yeah. So then it's civilians gathered around the building pointing up, basically? They're confused at the moment. Mm. But they're going to figure out what's going on pretty quick when people start showing up. As in the distance, you hear more of the screeching. Far off distance. Should we go to the sewers? Can we get to the sewers from here? We have a way through the building. You see, as they move into the main parts, you see it's been emptied out ever since uh, things started happening. They walk up to a piano that's there, push it, as there's a crack in behind it. Here, uh, if we go through here, we can get to the sewers. But we're going to have to abandon the safe house. So. We have to, though, you know it is. Okay, go. Is there some sort of illusion we can cast to make it look like everyone's going a different direction? No, but we have another way of covering our tracks. You see as a few people walk over with frickin' Molotov cocktails. drop in, get hit by the lovely smell that somehow smells strangely familiar to the uh, Charlotte uh, freaking sewers. It seems like poop is the same everywhere. It smells just like the one. <laughs> As... Mine's me at home. Where did you live? Uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? How has it only been two hours I've been doing the D3? <laughs> what you have explored here? As a kid, would you? I know. Okay, given your personality, there's a real possibility. So just roll me a d6. Okay. Don't add anything. Just d6 straight. Just five. Yeah, yeah, you have. You know your way fairly well around here. <laughs> I know this way like the back of. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Those are my veins. So, no wonder it's a straight line. <laughs> so, you know your way pretty much around where I, wherever this will lead. So, you can make your way through the sewers fairly well. Uh, Something weird. You, as you're traveling through the sewers, you see a place. You swear there used to be a tunnel there. And looking at it closer, you realize it is a different shade of uh, brick. Mm. So for some reason, it looks fairly recent. Mm. I want to touch it. You touch it, it feels like a brick. It is not an illusion. Can I apply pressure on it to push any of the bricks through? You push, it is very sturdy. At least a few feet of brick, which is a lot for this. Come back to this. You go now. The funny thing is, you find a lot more of those. So much so that the tunnel seems like a straight path. I think, mm. I think it blocks off. What do you think? I think they want us to go this way. How do they protect the entire boy? Well, 
based on what we've heard, I feel like we'll meet our friend. The one that was making a lot of noise? Screeching? Or? Scare. Ah. So, I'm going to put the hood back on and try to remain hidden as I go along it. Alright, as you continue, you see that, uh, I'm assuming you're a little bit further in front of them. You see that it opens, the, uh, whatever opens up to a much wider room lit with torches. It's really difficult to damage solid objects. Like, yeah. still. Yeah. I mean, with like fire, cold, maybe acid, but. seem to be anything else in this room, or does it just seem to be what I can only describe as like an arena? Yes. So there are two pathways above the ground going either way. There's like a 20 foot, like there's the big hallway 20 feet up off the ground, pathway, pathway. So if we could get up. Kind 
I always expect everything to be until 8. This is why I'm still alive. I thought you were Drew. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you place yourself on the battlefield, you guys make it to about mm -hmm. here. Oh. Which side am I? Uh, our side, here. Uh, Entrance is, is this way, exits that way. Actually, here, give me this. I'm going to actually draw. Exit 20 feet up. Exit 20 So when you reach there, you hear a voice. Ah, that was about what I expected. As you see walls of stone come up, blocking both exits. As a few people actually poof into existence as if some invisibility spell disappeared. You why, see, am I, why am I left-handed? That's Be not important. <laughs> that was your arm that you were using, right? Uh, that was your dragon yeah. arm? Yeah. So, that would be the arm that you fight with. Uh, is that a problem? <laughs> Do you have a problem with left-handed people? Yes. Yes. Oh. The world does not make it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're not probably left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna kill all the left people. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Joe. Oh, a few. You see a few people poof into existence. Well, I can't kill them now, so it's <laughs> the, the wizard guy, you see your kill. brother standing there, and you also see a man in mismatched armor. Your good pal, Worm. How are you stuck in here? You're gonna say that in character? Because <laughs> there's a. Yes. Maybe what? I make a point to keep all of my assets close at hand. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Now, I fully expected to deal a blow to the uh, resistance, but I never expected to deal with you too, Mr. Glenn. Glenn Housewife, is your brother. Are we killing you? Or just... I have no idea what you're talking about to me. If only we had some sort of... <laughs> <laughs> I never expected to deal with you two, and I believe the rest of you have a significant bounty on your heads. Please, please. So, I would not... Please. It's only for my master. Soon, we will, uh... Rule this planet. Well, but you won't be there to see it, now, will you? Here. Now, Larth, deal with them. You see, as Larth looks at home, you see he takes a step forward, he draws a longsword. You see, as he does that, the entire room seems to grow 20 degrees colder as all of the torches actually go out, the only light is from his light, light blue sword. As he draws it, points it towards the group, and then he swings it at uh, Mordak. Good thing I see ya. I need everyone to roll me initiative. Got it. Uh, I'm sitting here at a 19. Uh, 18. Uh, 10. 10? 17. Uh, give me a second. Alright, so Lucas, what were you? 10. Uh, 16. Not bad, not bad. 19. 19? 19, okay. And I'm going to have a 17. Yep. Let's see, so...
roughly. It's hard to say, I wasn't told much. But you know about him, at least one of them, yeah, easily. You just stabbed him. You can't fine. see because of the sword. I By the way, no, that's just something that the sword does. What about dark vision? That works. I have blind sight of 10 feet. Well, you, like I said, the sword emits lights. You can see. Mainly, it's a frost brand. Frost brands emit light in like, I believe, 30 feet and dim lights another 30 feet. So, up first is actually our good pal, Kirak. Okay. So I'll make sure I heard again. Frostbrand stabbed a bird. Our good buddy Larth over there take a s take actually that should happen before everything else. My bad, so that's on me. swipe it right up, which then gives us some time and someone up in this mess. As it's going to take a swing. That's not enough, but as you swing, it is actually blocked. By Worm, who drew his sword. It didn't beat his armor class, but whatever. That's cool, which is that he blocked it. That's holy crap. That's All right, so up first is Kirak. I would like to start my turn off by casting my one use of my sixth level spell, Mental Prison, upon uh, Worm. So I need him to make an intelligence save. Oh, that's not actually. Mm. All right, let's see. Oh no, intelligence? <laughs> yes. So I rolled a two. <laughs> wait, 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 time for a total of one. <laughs> he needed a 19. So. <laughs> for, for reference, is that Kirak next to me? Uh, yes. You have five extra movement this turn, I believe. Great. Um, double check that. Ten, if you're. Oh. So, Drew, since I'm not sure you've seen this before. Now, what's up? He's not immune to being charmed, correct? Let's see. He is not. Okay. Um, on a successful save, which he didn't, on a failed save, he's taking 5 to 10 psychic, and then I'm going to make the area immediately around him appear dangerous in some way. Um, by doing that, uh, he cannot see or hear anything beyond it, and he is restrained for the spell's duration. If he has somehow moved out of the illusion, makes a melee attack through it, or reaches any part of his body through it, he will take 10 d10 psychic damage. Bang! And at the end of each of his turns... Wait, no. It, uh, since he failed, he is stuck there for a minute or until I break concentration, or he breaks out of it. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he is taking... Well, this is not a great roll. Uh, 16 Psychic. 16 Psychic? Yes. That is it? Yeah. How many did you roll? Wow. Five. Are you kidding? 5d10? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's yours. Wow. And uh, I'm going to make just the area around him immediately turn into just like, just blindingly hot radiant light. I will bring this up from before he does have blind sight, but that doesn't mean he can just move through it. Correct. Yeah. Well, ten feet of blind side. All right. He pre yeah. Uh, great. That's it. I think it would be kind of like his blind side gets impaired by it. Really? So that would be how I 
probably guess for how that would work. Have to, is it an illusion? It is illusionary. And I would say he can see through it, but that doesn't change the fact that if he touches it, he gets like freaking mega okay. hurt. Great. And that could be my. I'm also going to use my bonus action to do my transformation and turn into my flying mode. Woo, you got wings, Michael! Using wow. my movement, how tall is the room? How tall is your room? So that is 20 feet to there, 20 feet more, 40 feet. So you guys went really low into the ground. There isn't just like the, uh, there's not just like the city and then a giant <laughs> road. Or, yeah, I'm just going to try to get some air. I'll just duck back for now. Stay behind people with stuff. Pastor. Alright, so up next is actually our pal Murdoch. So with our the pal. Yes. He is not my pal. <laughs> so he's going to look at uh Larf be like, you disappoint me. As he snaps his fingers, as you see, there are look like in his one space, there look like there are like four of him on just chilling in like slightly different positions. Woo! As he uses a certain spell that I don't know. It's a fun spell. It is a cool spell. I like this spell. Actually, I'm going to change it. Uh, so his clothes actually change his color, and then there are like four different colors of him. Like, you know, Ooh. you know, like the freaking Legend of Zelda thing where they're like, yeah. Basically, yeah. you know, I'll just say he casts Mirror Image. All that means is that if you attack him, there's a chance that you hit one of the clones instead, and the clone goes away. Anyway, right, that is his turn. As it is now Lark's turn, as he's going to once again, he's gonna start swinging against this guy because he murdered his papa and his mama. And he's going to, yeah, that beats his AC because his what AC. Is he Wait, let me check how much health this guy has. Okay, that's decent. What do you need? What do you need? X. That is. <laughs> As he's going to make a second attack. How many cookies are you gonna have? That hits. And as and I'll say you guys see this, when he brings his sword back, he moves it forward, but then there's like some purple energy that throws it forward super fast, making the attack stronger. As he may have some sort of abilities, I don't freaking know. Well, who knows? Maybe he does or doesn't. I don't freaking know. As second slash hits, third slash misses somehow. Don't ask me. As up next, directly after Blen. I'm going to use my chromatic infusion to make my punches do an extra D4 of cold damage. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Alright. Then I'm going to punch him. Go for it. Crimes against the Omrathadar family do not go unpunched. Nat 20. Miss! Wait, hey, oh snap. That does hit, but... I need to hear roll me. Did Lorth not roll for the mirror images? Oh crap, you're right. I have to do that. Okay, I have to roll D20. If it hits him, okay. roll the duplicates. Oh, wait. Wait, time. Roll a D20, we must roll a second higher. Oh, sh. Hey, true. Yep, that's so you know, the first one doesn't hit. Uh, the thing I put on. Uh, second one hits a guy. The illusions. Third one? Yeah. Third one misses, actually. And hits him instead, so he instead has that What's up? The spell I have on a worm, he 100% believes it is real. Mm. At the level of illusion, it's basically like he feels it a bit, too. With blindsight? It would be like it's affecting all of his senses, is kind of how that works. You'd feel it like you can have the illusion of something. I would say yes. Because he failed the save. Yeah. Plus, 
He got a one total. <laughs> <laughs> Close to a zero, so yes, I'll say. Boy got a natural one. Do you roll to see if I hit the illusion? Uh, here. I will just tell you, roll a d20. If it is an 11 or higher, it hits an illusion instead of him. The third illusion. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that one! Ah! <laughs> so yes, this one hits him, 100%. Let's go! So, uh... Nine, and I'm going to smite that. Sure, but it is a crit smite. You yes. crit everything. I'm going to a second level spell slot that. That is... 68. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 41 damage. 41! Jeez! Zones! But, I mean, at least that's it, right? I mean, so there's no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20, believe it or not, that hits. Okay. So, uh, 6. another 6 damage then. Mm hmm. 6. And, uh, okay. That is my turn because I used my bonus action for the enchant. You're right, oh, right. I used bonus action for the enchant, which means I need three more d4 because the first one was double. Uh, eight more damage, though. Eight more damage, okay, you're right. That is. Mm, yeah. uh, 49 total. Alright, so. That turn? Yes. After that is our good pal Worm's turn, who. He seems to be surrounded by, like, death light. Yeah. But we don't see it. He is not the smartest guy. What he does is that because he is he's he is restrained. If that changes things, like actually, actually. restrained the condition. Because he can get out of that fairly easily. But how can he get out of it? He can make a copy and switch places with it. But he would still have to go through it. But you know what? I feel like with the level of I'm gonna kill you, this guy has, I think he'd go through with it. He's just a bit toasty. Just a bit toasty. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, he's gonna go through it. <laughs> Yo, uh, so he makes a clone who is in his space now restrained, and he's gonna. Take the freaking lot of hurts. Clone. Ten D ten. Yeah. Ten. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm gonna call seventy two. Ten damage. Fifty seven seconds. Fifty seven. All right. A little above average. Is it? Mm -hmm. I got fifty five. Alternating between six and five. Or? Fifty five is the average. As I got the average yeah. rolls 5.5. Oh. So then 11 first, so then 11 times 5, yeah. As he is going to brush that off as he finally sees it was an illusion, and he is not happy at you, but he has no way of getting to you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. As, as of now, his job is to protect that guy, so he's going to move right here. And with his armor still freaking actually his armor's not singed at all, that was all psychic. <laughs> he first is going to take a swing at Lenny, which I will say. No, not flanking. No. As he's gonna take a sword. As that is a 20? No. Yeah! As he has a psychic <laughs> attack as he's going to. Whoo, 27. Yes. <laughs> yes. As that one will hit. Wait, what did I, did I say 50? No. no. Okay. <laughs> you saying his hit. Okay, I thought I said that he hit you. Yeah, he hit me with 50. <laughs> so that is... Um, oh, did he roll that? Whoops. I, I guess 17 I damage. Slashing, it is magical. Whoops, I said... As he has a third attack, he is going to attack our good pal, Larth. Larth? Larth? Larth has Larth. the shield Larth. spell. Larth up. I should have moved this, I'm sorry, I should have moved all of this to my freaking screen. There we go. Mm -hmm. I've taken seven Hold damage! Up. <laughs> You've taken the Hold most up. damage out of everyone. As yeah. you are attacked, mm -hmm. you see that there seems to be a shimmer of purple energy in front of you, a psychic yeah. shimmer. As Larth actually uses his reaction to reduce that by six. 
Oh. Did you I took one damage! Did you yes. get the eight points? The yes. That's why I only taken seven. As oh, okay. it was seventeen. As up next. Wait, I have a fair attack. I have to kill Larth. Dang. As as a one. <laughs> Let's go! As, as Larth swings back around and blocks it. He goes Fred back into the illusion. <laughs> as up next is Finrod. Finnegan. Oh my god. Finny. So, um. Adventure time? So there's, there's like three other illusions of. Uh, one. There is one. one. Yeah. Larth just freaking missed. Two of his swings. Yeah. So there's there's, there's one illusion of left. So when you attack him, you have to roll a ten or lower to actually get hit him on the illusion. Okay. The illusion's just basically like part of him. What if I did something that hit a big area? Then you could hit. Yeah, all because of them? you're not. It wouldn't affect him. But uh, yeah. Huh. The, it would just oh, hit like... him. But okay. it is actually not concentration. But you could just hit. Yeah, I think it just would hit. Unless he has, like, th levels in Rogue and has evasion. <laughs> yeah. well, I can all, see it. He deserves to die. Uh, I'm just going to use my action to take out Jeremy. But Jeremy's Jeremy! Jeremy! <laughs> we got, uh, we Jeremy. got the rodent here. Um, Jeremy. Jeremy in the house! Woo! <laughs> Jeremy! Jeremy. I heard a loop bug. Little <laughs> rich mushroom. Uh, that's all for my turn. So, <clears throat> legendary action on Worm's part. Worm? Yes, he does. Worm? Does he so, turn into a worm? Boom. So, I'm just going to go back a little bit to what happened. So, he slashes and his attack is actually blocked by Larth. As you see the... Frostbrand and his sword clash, you see as his sword begins to glow red as it sets on fire. Fire and ice. Yes, fire and ice. Hey, we have a I may or may not have planned this from the freaking inception of this character. I don't know. No, I mean, I made a good choice. But anyway, wait, do you have ice? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's so oh, no. cool. As you hear like freaking sizzling and popping from the cold of one sword versus the fire of another. As Drake, you're up. Uh, can I use Hopper's otherworldly guide on me? Yes, you can! What are you choosing? Myself. Yes, but there are two forms you can pick. Here, click it. You can either choose Angel or Upper Planes or Lower Planes, which is Angel or Dragon. And I will need you to describe what happens for coolsies. Okay. With this treasure I summon. What's a and a narcotic? That is basically holy and unholy damage. So you are either completely immune to holy and unholy, or you're completely immune to fire and I believe poison? Yeah, I think I'll do low point. Alright, so... <laughs> hmm, fire! Hmm. <laughs> ah! <snacks! laughs> oh. oh my gosh, we're all on theme! So, I need you to describe this because it is the dragon thing. So, I guess I'm off. Everyone, shush, 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 Scales start falling all around me, and then giant dragon wings form out of my back. As I'm muttering an incantation for the spell. As, now what do you do? You got your wings, you got your target, you got 40 feet. As the wings smack at me in the face. As <laughs> she gets a little bit of wing pushed in her face and she's like, whoa, dang, dude, lots of wings on this team. Wow. I need some wings. Everyone needs wings. Jeremy needs to have wings. He did. Jeremy. <laughs> when it wasn't Jeremy. They did work, but he had wings. Yeah. Well, it was Jeremy. It was Jeremy. He was made out of, like, <gasps> cast iron, so, like, there was no chance of him ever flying, <laughs> but they were there. It was for the aesthetic. <laughs> the wings flat up, and they were just like, 
a wheel on the ground go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you hit him. Wait, I'm winning. Wait. Hit him. Wait, can I go any farther than uh, 40, was it? I don't use a Huh? 40. I don't But, I will say, I don't think you're going you are going using a spear. Spears have 10 feet of range because you can okay. stab really far. Like this. Meaning I'll and not attack my dog. Alright, roll it. Let's see. Kill the Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Every time a creature targets you with an attack, doesn't matter if it hits, I'm rolling. It hits one of the new hits. As you stab right through his face. Can I can I she... yell at Drake to get out of my way? Use all this movement. Use all this movement. Okay. As you do have your second attack. Sixteen. Only six yeah, that hits. This is a spellcaster. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's funny because I'm gonna beat him up. Oh. And then two D sixes. Twelve. And then you can just trust. Twelve total? Yes. Alright. Alright, hurt him. Looks like we're not getting used to it. Is that your turn? Well, I still could. I mean we still could. I mean collateral damage isn't really that bad. <laughs> The home family is all known for their like cool stuff. So as long as it's fire or trait. poison, that I might. As long as it's fire or poison, because I'm immune to those. All right, is that your turn? Uh, yes, it is. All right, top of the yes. round. Top. Kirak. Yeah. Actually, round zero, something does happen. So I can dive the minis for this. As you see, from the ground actually appear two spectral creatures who look vaguely familiar. You see the ghost of your parents appear. As you see, Murdoch has changed coming from his fin fingers surrounding them as he goes, This land is cursed. Souls cannot depart. But that leaves them as slaves for me. As two ghosts appear on either side. The ghost of your parents. So, have some trauma. I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, that's waiting for Top of the round. Top of the round, dear My name is. No, Lucas. But I'm going to be in the air. You could not be 40 feet in the air. You could not if you could hit him. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. I need. I don't know it. Okay, I'm gonna give me a flat three or 40 feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Root. What's up? I am hitting third, fourth, fifth. So I get plus three for this. I need every single one of the bad men to make a wisdom save. Oh, if wisdom. they are oh, no, humanoids. Not if they are humanoids. All right, so, first one. You said wisdom, correct? Yes. This is the guy. The guy got... Wait, which guy? Is, which guy? This is Murdoch. He got a 24. He passes. Now, Worm, on the other hand... Let's see. Seven. I rolled a 6 for a total of 5. All right, <laughs> well, it was a 19 again he needed. He is a very tough boy. <laughs> he is not a smart one. <laughs> I or am. wise. Yeah. Ah. I cast the whole person. As you see, he's so now he's paralyzed. You see, as uh, what does this look like? Just like you saw the chains come up there. You see, like just radiant chains grab him at all of his limbs and just start pulling him back. So he's just kind of locked like this. So you see that he's trying to push against the large sword, trying to get to him. He's winning as he's pulled back. You see as. He, his strength, he's even pulling back against it since he's that strong, but ultimately, he gets held in place. As him, he but just snaps his fingers and the chains on and break. And then the two ghosts, I assume, are not going to lose. They are not. Sam. Okay. That's they nice. were not anymore. Drake, what did you roll for your initiative? Drake, what did you do? Uh, each of those dice are 10 feet. 
Yeah. You know what? Look at me. Never mind. I think Drake was like at the bottom. I'm rolling to yeah. for adding these guys. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I look at him. So. <clears throat> Is that your turn? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you see as Murdoch. Not add another. He raises his staff as you see it begins smoking from the spell he's casting. It's that powerful. As you see cracks begin appearing in space itself as out of nowhere he disappears. As time stops. As he is up here and an explosion happens right there. He casts fireball right there. Does that affect me? Which is what stopped the time stop. But then you guess it's, it's fire. It does not affect you. Oh, <laughs> it does it? Ah, he's, it's fire. He is immune to he's fire. Immune. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then, is there a saving throw then? Give me a minute. I believe, Yes, there is, but let me find it. This hey. guy. Larf has plus two to it. Hey, wait, does he have something that can do that to you too? Or of protection? No, he doesn't have that, but he has uh, the. the, the but did he, have, he didn't have his turn. Dang it! Okay. But okay. So let's roll. Earth as a deck save. That's not passing. Okay. So that. Yep. Uh, the DC is, I believe, seventeen. Sorry. Set DC uh, seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Pass. Hey, roll the deck save. <laughs> he doesn't need roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Oh, it's good that he's not all this. He eats all the fire. Oh, he was three on the dot. He was talking to him. Let me tell you, Worm and I are like a match made, like perfect match up here. Where if Worm ever gets to me, I think I don't make it very long. Well, but, that, well the thing about Worm is he has insane strength. Insane Dex, insane con. He is not good in the mental stuff. <laughs> I, is, I gathered that much is, from our encounters. He is with not him. a smart boy. <laughs> mm. Let's see. So that is plus one plus one. I've gathered that Worm is not very smart from our conversation. All right. So that I'll is thirty-eight fire damage for everyone who failed. Ow. And yeah, basic math. Nineteen. Nineteen. Alright. Reactive so. resistance. Ah! So you take a fourth of that? <laughs> Dang, freaking champ. And it just doesn't affect me. And you just. I'm just standing there. You're just standing there, your wings just go. Did Worm auto fail? He did. Can I have time? Let's see. Was it up or down? Uh. And how did James. I have an Elm's brother do. Hello. <laughs> With his plus two. Marth and Fennel. Baby! <laughs> hey, I want to. I was like, wait, no, I need to get a more weird sounding name like yours. Lucina. Lucina. <laughs> Lucina. My, my OC. Do not steal. <laughs> Marsuna. Alright, so. <clears throat> that is his turn as he. Just freaking stop time as Lauren. One second, one second. Counting, counting, counting. He started his turn within five feet. He has an extra ten movement. As oh! you see, he's going to be like, let go. As he's going to, as you feel something below your feet. As he's going to chuck you <laughs> over here. Trust me. <laughs> As he chucks you all the way over there, which is actually an ability that Cyanites get. <laughs> then bonus action, he's, his legs are actually going to glow as he is going to fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to use his the one turn of movement uh, flight speed he has to move over there. But that does take both his action and his bonus action. As he's going to land and say, you will pay for your crimes against the Marathidar family. As that's his turn. Glenn, you're up. Wait. He, yes. Yes. This guy? He, he's he now is right, right there. there. He will die. This is a statement. I'm holding down worm. Don't you worry, guys. 
<laughs> worm is not having a nice time. <laughs> No matter what Herb does, he just got blown 22. up. 22 hit. Okay. Alright, let's... I've only dealt about 60 damage to him. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, saying all... I mean, you've dealt more than that. 70. Total of 7. Oh, okay. seven. Yeah, what was that? Total of 7. Damage? Very bad rolls. Alright, alright. Got more though. Yes. Uh, first is a 19. So hit. Matt 20. Deal the damage! Woo! Uh, 11 plus, let me, let me press it, thank you, uh, 11 plus 7, 9, or 18. 18. And then I'm going to smite it again. Mm-hmm. So 18 plus, 18 plus 37, uh, 47, 57. How do you want to do that? <laughs> You get thrown up to where he is by your brother. He lands right next to you, surrounding him as... Punch him in the gut. Punch him in the face backwards into the glowing sword. Oh, him on That's awesome. You see as Larth lifts him up with the sword, holds him over the 20-foot drop, and just lets him fall. As he splats on the ground, dead, you see as the spirits of your mother and father the chain breaks as they look down and just close their eyes. But they do not fully disappear. You see, as I don't know what Worm's doing, he's just not, he's still not. <laughs> as I'll say, we are out of initiative. Okay, so let me know when a minute yeah. has passed. That was not a long initiative. <laughs> as, I wanted to shoot him if I can. You see, I mean, as, uh, right there. you see as, uh, let's see, Larth, he scrapes some blood off of his sword since it's actually already frozen. He looks at you and says, thank you. I wouldn't have been able to beat him on my own. I was waiting for my chance. Something we needed to do. I know that mother and father were not always the best to you, but I hope you know that they did want you to find your way. And... They thought maybe the army would be that, but he looks over at the group and he says, Maybe you found that on your own. You could say that, yeah. He holds his hand out to you to shake it. You see, he actually reaches up to his chest. He has a crest of the family. He undoes it and it holds it out to you. We will finish up uh, getting rid of the remnants of his people here. If you need me for anything ever, I'm with you. And whenever you're done with your quest, you have a home here. Thank you. Oh wait, one more thing. You see, he reaches behind him, pulls out two gauntlets. Mom and Dad had these made for you, but they never got to give them to you. Crumb, stop it. (laughs) He hands them to you. I guess that's it. As he will use his telepathic stuff to place you down on the ground, and meet back up with the rest of the party. I do well let you know he wasn't lying about this land being cursed. I'm not sure how much you heard about what's going on with uh, Ryan. He has some sort of hold on this plane of existence, and I have nothing to leave it. But that includes the souls of the dead. If you die, you are stuck here forever. There are thousands of years of dead people just sitting around in this purgatory. One more reason to solve this issue. But I also learned more. See, apparently there's something in the moon, something big and bad. They're trying to release it. However, these cultists have another plan. They are looking to actually destroy that barrier so that this thing can try and wage war against the entire multiverse. I do not know why, but all I know is we have to let the souls go to rest. As he points over to one of the tunnels, if you continue that way, you will reach the outskirts of the town. You should be able to make your way from there. Thank you. As I'm assuming you guys make your way, as We'll call it there, as you guys 
leave the town and look through the desert in front of you that you were with. So we didn't kill him. You, I, I don't know, he's just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you guys killed his employer again? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why did I employ him? <laughs> he is out of your price range, I would say that. Is this the third time we've done this? Dude, no, that was the second time. Last time, no, he was on the same freaking uh, payroll as last time. <laughs> His reputation is going down the freaking toilet. He is getting a lot of money. He is getting a lot of money, but he's not the best at, you know, getting through my <laughs> <But, laughs> The thing is, a lot of those moves are really good against him. My <laughs> build is like a direct counter to yeah, he's being yeah. sent against the direct counter to him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, plus, he did go first. So yeah, like, I'll get him this time. <laughs> Oh wait, oh I know those guys. I fought them, but why is there death around? 